In this video I want to show how to create a split line on a part so you can put a force on a part of a surface instead of a whole surface in SOLIDWORKS simulation. So I'll create a new simulation here with the right mouse button. I can start a new simulation. I'll choose a static. You've got several other options in simulation. I showed it in the first video of uh, the simulation videos that I've made. So the material is already defined because it was defined in SOLIDWORKS already. I can create a fixture over here. And if now I want to start creating a force, so I'll, I'll create a force and I'll put it on a surface, it is put on the whole surface of the part. If I don't want that, I can split the surface right here. I have to create a sketch on this surface and then use the sketch tools. For example, create a rectangle over here. All right, exit sketch, and then I can split the face. It's already selected the face, so I can do that from within SolidWorks simulation. I can also use the SolidWorks option with a sketch and then insert curve split line. It will have the same effect. So I can do that right now because I'm already in this menu. Yes. I'm going to create a split line and then SOLIDWORKS puts the, the force on just this part of the surface. So then it's been integrated with SOLIDWORKS, so you could create the, surf, the split line in SOLIDWORKS itself, but you can also create from within simulation. If you want to split several surfaces, I can show you how to do that. Then create a plane and do it in the reverse direction. and now I can use this surface as well, so insert curve split line and I can split with an intersection of this plane, so it's already selected that, this, all these surfaces. So I need to select the areas and SOLIDWORKS will split the surface over there. So now if I create a mesh, then uh, you can see the division in the elements over there at the split surfaces like this and now for example I could also put a force another force on just this piece of the surface of this part so that's the, the way to put surfaces on your model and use these surfaces to create forces on just a, a selection of those areas thanks for watching